In the previous lecture, we understand how to work with function decorators. Now, in this lecture, we're going to understand what is class decorator. Now, let's take a look at how to create a class decorator. We all know how to create a static and a class decorator in Python. We learned that in the previous lectures. Let's take a look at how to create your own class decorator in Python. As I said earlier in the previous lecture, a decorator is a function that can be applied to another function using a function argument. We all know decorators start from add the rate notation. In the previous lecture, we understand all about this synthetic sugar. Now, what I want, I want to use this same decorator for my classes. I want to use this decorator as class decorator. Now, let me show you what if I apply this synthetic sugar to the class. The syntax would still work except this my function gets replaced with the instance of the decorator class. If the class implements the call magic method, then it would still be possible to use this function as decorator. So let me show you a very simple example to understand how this works with class decorator. Let me show you how to create your own class decorator in Python. I'm going to simply create here a class. So I'm going to start with the class keyword and then I'm going to specify a name to this class decorator. And in this class, I'm going to create a constructor of this class. So here I'm going to say define double underscore init. I'm going to call this init constructor. And then here I'm going to pass. So here I'm going to pass parameter function just like this. And then I'm going to just say self dot function. I'm going to create an instance of this class and then specify this parameter. Just out of that, as I said earlier, to create a class decorator, you need to implement the call magic method. So here I'm going to say define double underscore call. When I press enter, you can see I'm going to have the arguments and the keyword arguments as a parameter to this method. Now, just for that, here I'm going to just print in the double code before the function call. Just for that, here I'm going to just say response is equal to self dot function. So I'm going to call this instance of this class as a function and pass both these parameters. So here I'm going to say star ARGS arguments and double asterisk keyword arguments just like this. Just for that down here I'm going to just say print and in the double quote I'm going to say after the function call. And at the last as I said you need to return a function. So here I'm going to say return response. As you know we have this function inside this variable. So I'm going to just return this function. So just out of that, just out of this class, let me just call my decorator. To call my decorator, I'm going to just first add add the rate notation and then say decorator, just like this. Just out of that, I'm going to just apply this decorator to my function. So here I'm going to say define test function and in this function, I'm going to just simply print something. So here I'm going to say inside the function, just like this. And at the last, let me just call this function. Now, let me execute this file and explain this code. When I execute this file, I'm going to have the result something like this. Here, I'm going to have the message before this function call. Then I'm going to have the message inside the function. It means it's going to call this function. And then it's going to call this after the function call. So what is happening here is when I call this decorator, this decorator is going to first print this message. Then it's going to call my function, execute it with these arguments and print a message inside the function and then print this message. Now let me explain this code line by line. I'm going to simply create here a class, a decorator and create a simple constructor to it. So when I call the instance of this class, this constructor will automatically call. And when you call this constructor, I'm going to have this function as a parameter to this constructor. And as you can notice, to this decorator, I'm going to pass this function. To create a class decorator, you need to implement the class method. So I'm going to just implement this class method and specify arguments to it. Now, this is my n number of arguments and this is the n number of keyword arguments. Inside it, I'm going to just print a message, then create a variable response and just specify self dot function. So I'm going to call this instance and pass both these parameters to this function. Just out of that, I'm going to just print a message and just return this function. If you forget to return this function, then you're going to get an error message. 
because as I said earlier, all decorators need to return a function and have function as a parameter. To call this decorator, I'm going to call the add the rate notation, then specify the decorator name, call the function. So this function is going to pass to the parameter of this class. And when I call this function, I'm going to have the result something like this. So this is how you can create a simple class decorator in Python. Now to understand class decorator, this is a perfect example. So I hope you understand how to work with class decorator in Python and how to create your own class and function decorators in Python. Don't forget to practice with this code to easily familiar with it. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.